Hi everyone, welcome to this week's video. My name is Sarah, if you're new here, I make a video once a week about makeup, skincare, beauty, anything related to that, and I try to keep it more affordable and realistic for the everyday person. I just do this for fun, and I love doing things like shop my stash and project panning, so I will have those playlists of those types of videos below. So today we kind of did a shop my stash style video in the sense that I am not using any new products. I did not buy anything new for this video. I am solely choosing off of what I already have in my collection to create this look. I've seen a couple other influencers and people on YouTube and TikTok kind of do this using the Pantone color of the year, which is Peach Fuzz, to inspire a makeup look. So that's what I tried to do today. I used, like I said, things from my collection that I already have. So we will go through the eyeshadow palette options that I have, choose some from there and create this overall look. It turned out really well, I think, really nice and shiny and glowy, very refreshing. Definitely a look I want to recreate more in the springtime, but it was a nice uplifting thing to do. It's been so dreary and cold here. We've had like a whole week of freezing weather, so it was kind of fun to get on and do a different type of look. So if you want to see everything that I used and how I created this Peach Fuzz inspired makeup look, then keep watching. All right, so I did most of my base makeup already just to kind of shorten the video. But just to run through that really quickly, I did use the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Primer. And then for my foundation, I used the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation. I don't know if they sell this exact one anymore or if they like reformulated and repackaged, but this is the next oldest foundation in my collection. So I've been trying to use it more consistently lately. And then for my concealer, I used my favorite Maybelline Superstay Active Wear. I set my face with the e.l.f. Halo or the e.l.f. Camo Powder. This is in my project pan. And then I wanted a lighter bronzer today because I wanted this to be a softer, lighter look. So I used my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer in the shade one, which is fair. It's a pretty light bronzer but it's good for this time of year. And like I said, just kind of gives that more, as the name says, airbrushed look and feel. And then I primed my eyelids using my Milk Eyelid Primer. So next we will focus on the eye look, which is where the peachiness is really gonna come in for this Pantone color of the year look. So I shopped my stash and pulled out some eyeshadow palettes in my collection that I already own that I felt like could give the vibe of the peach fuzz color. And I found four, one of them's kind of a stretch, but I really wanted to focus on not buying anything new for this video. So the first one I pulled out, it's definitely more of a pink and nude color scheme. This is a Natasha Denona, I need a nude palette. There are some hints of peachiness in this palette with like these two shades down here. This one and even this brown shade would be a good outer corner color, but it would go well with the peach. So it could go more that way if you really forced it to, but in general, the vibe of this palette is much more neutral and nude. But I just wanted to mention that as a potential option, but I don't think I'm gonna use this today because this is an expensive palette and I wanted to pick something that's maybe a little more accessible and affordable. The next one I picked is another Natasha Denona. It's the Mini Biba. My lid is broken on mine. But this also has some really, like this peach shade right here, this peach shade. And then even though this looks a little more gold, if you kind of go the more peach route, it can pull a little more of that color. I love this middle shade. As you can see, there's really a huge dip going in there. But beyond those two, I didn't feel like this would also give me enough of that peach look. So I probably won't use that one today. But I think I am gonna use a combination of the next two palettes because one is a little more high-end and one is more drugstore. So the first is my ABH Soft Glam. I also wanted to pick ones, like I said, that are readily available and easy to purchase. This I still think is being sold at Ulta at least. But this definitely has the peach vibes, especially in this section. So I think that's more what I will be focusing on today. And then the one I think I might use in conjunction is the Milani Luminosa. I did do a whole video with this palette 
a little over a year ago, I think. So I will link that below. And so since I didn't want to just do like a repeat of that kind of video, I think that's why I'm going to use the soft glam and maybe this one in conjunction. But I mean, can you get more peach than this? And I will say, depending on like, I mean, I know there's the Pantone color to go off of, but peach can definitely lean more towards the pink side or a little more towards the orange side. So it just really depends. I think, you know, obviously that's a little more of a pink, pink, but like these, you know, they're more of a pink peach than an orange peach. Whereas in the ABH, we've got more of the orange going on. So it just kind of depends what you're pulling for, but I think they can still work really well together. So let's create an eye look using potentially combo of these two palettes. So the first thing I'm gonna do is lay down my crease shade. And for that, I think I'm going to pick, I'm gonna kind of dip into both this burnt orange and this orange soda color. I'm just gonna kind of mix them on my brush. Because again, I don't think I wanna go overly orange for this look. I wanna go more the pinky peach direction, but I think this will be a good crease shade. And I think I'm going to hop over to the Luminoso palette and I'm going to pull this bottom corner shade Horizon and use that to kind of deepen the outer corner. I feel like this is a little more of an orange brown compared to the browns in the ABH palette. So we're just going to kind of get that on a brush and then kind of just pat it on the corner before blending it out. And then just blend again with the ABH. Colors in the crease. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with just the orange soda shade because I like how you know much more on the orange side it is. And I'm just going to take that on the blending brush and I'm going to kind of sweep this in the crease but bring it closer into the inner corner of the eye. Hoping this will kind of bring more emphasis to the orange part of peach rather than the pink. looking pretty smoky, but we're going to lighten it up now with our center of the lid shade. I'm going to go back in the Luminoso palette and I'm going to pull out the middle shade Luminoso. I feel like that's kind of a no brainer. So I'm going to go with this because I felt like the shimmers and the ABH are definitely more on the pink or gold side. Like that's a little too gold more than peach. And then that's just straight up pink. So I might use that for an inner corner highlight. But for over the lid, I'm going to use the Luminoso shade. I think I'm just going to use, well, I don't know. I never know if I should just use my finger or brush. I'm going to try with a brush first. And I'm going to really try and pick up a lot because I really want this to be pretty bright on the lid. So that's one layer with a brush. I'm gonna try and pack it on with my finger too and just see if that adds anything. Okay, a little bit. So I think I'll do that again for the other eye. Start with a layer using the brush and then pack more on with my finger. Okay, yeah, I feel like that really kind of helped brighten the look a little bit. So I'm gonna go back in with a blending brush into that orange soda shade and just kind of blend out that more inner part of the crease. And then I think I am gonna go into this glistening shade in the ABH palette. Like I said, even though it leans a little more gold, I think for an inner corner highlight, it will kind of help um, accentuate more the peach color, bring a little brightness. Now for under the lash line, I'm going to kind of just repeat the colors that we did on the lid. So I will start out using that darker horizon shade and we will just kind of pat that on the outer. 
part of the lower lash line. And go into Luminoso. Put that in the middle. And then finish was glistening. Just kind of connect everything back into that inner corner. All right, so that is the eye look. I don't know if it's coming off extremely peach, but I really like it. So I'm going to line my upper lash line with a brown liner and do my brows off camera and mascara, and then we will be back to do the rest of the face. So we're back. I did liner using my brown liner from Flower. And then I did my brows using my ABH brow powder. And then for mascara, I used this Maybelline The Colossal Mascara. I really like this mascara. I think it really like lifts and separates my lashes, which is what I'm looking for. And it's the right consistency for me right now. I prefer like that medium place of like wet but dry. I don't want it so wet that it just like automatically clumps, but I don't want it so dry that it's already flaking while I'm putting it on. So I do really like this. I've used this so many times in the past and this is just a mini one, but I'm enjoying it and I'm glad that I'm using it again. Cause I've been using that um, L'Oreal Air Volume one and that one I think is just a little too wet for my preferences. So this is a good, a good one to use instead of that. But now let's move on to the cheeks and the lips. And I'm really thinking that adding that will kind of bring out more of the peach look that we're going for. So for blush, I think it's pretty obvious that we have to go with Milani Luminoso. It's a nice peach blush that also has a sheen. And honestly, when I was looking through my collection, I don't have a lot of blushes at the moment. And I was noticing that definitely my personal preferences are more of a like neutral pink shade on myself so this is really the only true peach blush that i own but we're just gonna add this and blend Yeah, I think that's really helping to accentuate the peach. It's just like a true peach blush. And I love that it adds a little bit of sheen. I normally don't like sparkle or glitter in my blush. I prefer a matte blush, but this one, I think it's because it's not like chunks of actual glitter. Like I said, it's more of like just that overall sheen. I don't mind it. For highlighter, I didn't really have a peach highlighter. I don't really know if there's a lot of those out there. And a lot of the highlighters in my collection were definitely more the like white or gold leaning. But I do have this one from Revolution, the Highlighter Reloaded highlighter in Make an Impact. And it's definitely more of like the gold pink shade. So I kind of felt like it was looking a little peach when I was laying it out next to my other products. So we're gonna try this. I've only used this a handful of times, so it's good to pull it out and use it. Okay. I could definitely see how picking a highlighter with slightly more that leans towards like the gold side rather than the silver or white side at least is helping it kind of pull more of the peach orange way than anything else. So typically don't wear this much highlighter, but just really trying to make it show up so that we can see the peachiness. I think that's a good combination with the blush, actually. I think they really complement each other. So I would say that is a success. So for lips, I really don't have a true like peachy lip liner. So I just kind of wanted to go for more of one of those nude pink shades. So I pulled out my Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Pillow Talk. It's definitely much more on the pink side, but I still feel like if you go in with a light hand and kind of blend it, it'll go well with like the peachy shades. So then I pulled out two lip products to go with that. One is the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip in the shade White Peach. And then I also have this e.l.f. Lip Plumping Gloss in Champagne Glam. And I definitely think it pulls peach. 
So I'm going to line my lips off camera and then we'll come back and we'll kind of do, even though they're both glossy, I still wanna use both of them just to see what the combo looks like. So I will be back in a second. Okay, so I very lightly lined my lips. I think lining my lips always helps just to kind of keep the color a little more precise and to like stay throughout the day. So we're gonna go in with the white peach. This was actually the first of the colors of the lip plump that I bought for myself. So you can see definitely very glossy and they do have a little bit of that like tingly feeling, but it's not like over the top. I've definitely had some of the plumping formulations in the past, like the Too Faced ones are just like way too painful. And like the Buxom ones were too painful for me. I just feel like at that point it's like not, it's too much. So even though that's quite glossy, I still wanna to top the metal with the e.l.f. gloss and Champagne Glam just to kind of add extra and see what they look like together. So yeah, very wet look on the lips, which I don't mind. I don't know if it's the most like sustainable for me throughout the day, like for my normal like office job, but for creating an overall peach look, I think it adds a really like nice little bit of like freshness to the look. I'm just gonna swatch both of these on my hands so you can see what they would look like not layered. So we've got the white peach and then this is the, the elf gloss. So you can see this is definitely more on the neutral peach side and that's definitely a pink peach, but they're definitely two good options and both very glossy and wet looking. So this is the final look that I have come up with. I definitely think the blush and the highlight really brought the look together and gave it more of that peachy overall look. I really enjoyed using both of these eyeshadow palettes together. I hadn't really used either of them for those colors in such a long time. This one definitely screams more springtime to me, so I haven't pulled it out in a minute. And the last time I had Soft Glam, I was definitely focusing more on the pink and like darker side of the palette. So it was fun to use that more peachy orange side. So yeah, that is the look. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would appreciate that. Leave a comment below letting me know if you've done a look like this or what some of your favorite products are that have that peach Pantone color going in them, especially if you know of things that are more a drugstore. I definitely thought if I had wanted to go buy specific products for this video, which I didn't wanna do because I'm trying to be a little more frugal with my makeup spending this year. I definitely think ColourPop has some good eyeshadow palette options. I think, um, I think Essence has those little six pan ones and one of them is the coral one. I thought that might be a really good option and really affordable. And then for lip liners, I didn't look super closely, but I love the NYX lip liners and they're only like $5 a piece. And I'm pretty sure there has to be more of like a peachy or like a peach nude one in there to choose from if you really want to go more that peach route. So yeah, thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. I post once a week on Thursdays typically, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.